Look at this. Now I'm going to give you an example of system. This is the IIT Madras. That's actually, I don't know how many of you have been to IIT Madras, but that's the, that's the entrance to the campus. So you go in like that and, uh, and it's, it's on, it's on the way to Gindi, from Adaya to Gindi, that's a road. It's a nice, huge campus, I think 300 acres. Or even, I'm sorry, it's even more, sorry. Anyone from IIT, don't shout at me. Must be more. I'm sure it's more. 600, I think. Anyway, look at this. What's the picture about? IIT Madras. What are the elements? I'm sure you can add many more. What are the elements? Students, yes. Faculty. Curriculum. The facilities in the IIT, in the IIT campus. Can you think of some more? Think, no, please. Think of some more elements within the campus. Okay, you're thinking of security. I can't hear you, but I know that you're thinking of security. Canteen, facility, of course. The, the flora and the fauna, yes. The classrooms, yes. The guests to IIT Madras. Guest lecturers. Project staff. The employees who are working there. What else? What else are the systems? The, the I think that comes under facilities. The transportation that's going in and out. So that's the elements inside the campus. What is the purpose? Several purposes, right? Impart higher education in engineering, science, management, humanities. What are other purposes you can think of? To conduct research, to, to help young people find employment, correct? To upgrade skills, yes. To invent and discover new technology. Right? So several purposes. What are the other elements? What are the other systems the IIT system interacts with? The government system, because you know, the government has to, the government and the IIT are interlinked. Parents, of course, because parents send their kids to IIT Madras, therefore the parents as a system and IIT Madras as a system gets interlinked. Alumni, IIT has a lot of alumni, you know, huge alumni list and the alumni interact with the IIT system. What could the transportation around IIT could be a system that interacts with the IIT system. Uh, then what else? Um, what else? The, 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 the corporation, the corporation around IIT that supplies water, electricity, etc. could interact with the IIT system. And suddenly you find that you are right now looking at a small picture, but that picture is actually consisting of several elements. All of them are interconnected. You remove the students, the IIT collapses. Remove the faculty, IIT collapses. Remove curriculum, it collapses. Remove facilities, it collapses. One day there is no breakfast, students will protest and they will not be able to attend classes. One day there is no transportation of buses inside the inside or supposing the cycle paths are all blocked, you can't go to class. One day if the faculty don't come to college, there is no class that day. And see how they are in interconnected, right? So now start thinking of other systems. Think of the government system, think of the parent system, think of the alumni system and all that. From there we go to a cricket match. I just told you to Think of systems, right? Actually, there's a cricket match going on right now. Yes. I can't see it because I'm interacting with all of you. So a cricket match is a system. What are the elements in a cricket match? I'm going to give you some time to think. 
Unfortunately, we can't, you know, interact directly. I hope all of you come for the live classes so I can actually talk to you much more. Anyway, I'm sure you're writing down. Take a notebook and start writing down. What are the elements in a cricket match? Elements are, yes, the players, of course, the umpire. Sorry, the, 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 the stadium, the fans, the ticketing, and then the rules, the rules. And of course, the equipment, bat, ball and all that. The pitch, then the, the, the sponsors, sponsors, then the groundsmen, the groundsmen, the, the facilities, water and, 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 and bathrooms and canteen and all that. So they are the elements in a cricket match. What is the purpose of a cricket match? Of course, to, to, to entertain. What are the other purposes? Think to, to showcase team building, to showcase team spirit, to teach people how to, how to lose, To, to learn, to learn team building. You can take an entire team and, and your whole office can go and look at how the team is playing and learn team building. To learn a new game. To maybe build ambitions on, on being a great cricketer. What are the interconnections? Dumb question, no? Everything is connected, right? The umpires cannot be alone. Just imagine one cricket match with only umpires. Or imagine a cricket match without umpires. Of course, there's some technology nowadays. But again, that's a different story of how we can do innovations and all that. But umpires are dependent on the players. The players are dependent on the rules. The rules are dependent on the on the, on the fan. The, the, the match is dependent on the cricket is dependent on the fans. The fans are dependent on the transportation. The transportation is dependent on... The stadium, the stadium is dependent. And what you are seeing, when you're seeing a match from now on, when you're seeing a match, you will see a system. You will not see a match. And you will see in that it's been so beautiful, right? This whole this whole vision of a system, how life is changing for us, right? A cricket match is no more just one single thing. Everything is connected. And why connections are important, we will see. Don't be in a hurry now. You're just learning, remember. Don't be in a hurry and say, why are connections important? Let's see how they are important. How will the system change if one of the above is changed? What if the players don't turn up? What if the umpires don't come? What if the umpires are dropped? What if the rules are not there? Chaos. I don't know if you remember, during the pandemic, many of the football matches had no fans because they were not allowed. How will the system change? What happened? I don't know how many of you watch EPL. I watch EPL regularly. I'm a big Manchester United fan. So if any of you is a United fan, let me know during the live session. In the EPL, fans were not allowed. And many teams said that they could not perform good, well enough because there were no fans cheering them. You see the importance of fans. And I know personal experience that fans can change the outcome of a match. A team will be losing 2-1. And last 10 minutes, the fans will sing songs and they will shout and they will scream and they will encourage their players. And you won't believe it, the 2-1 will become 3-2 in a, in, a, in, a, in a game which is cheered on by the fans. And fans do that all the time. They change the course of a, of a game. You're going to just watch games and look at how the home crowds encourage the fans, the, the, the players. Right? So what have we learned? We have learned the example of, a, of, a, of, a, of IIT Madras. We have learned the example of a cricket match. We have started to understand systems. But the basic, basic simple rules remain. System is elements. 
interdependencies and connections and purpose. Elements, interconnections, purpose. Nothing changes there. And all those three things are right in front of you. Right in front of you. Food delivery is a system. You order food, right? Swiggy, you just, whenever you feel hungry, just take your phone and order food. But have you understood it's an entire system there? What is the interconnections? The All you hear is the bell. Ting, ting, the bell. And they open the door and there is this guy standing and saying, good evening, sir, this is your masal dosa. And you take your dosa. But what are the systems behind that boy? What are the things that are connected? Again, I'm sure you're taking up your pen, uh, paper and writing it down. So behind the... Uh, Behind the Swiggy delivery person, there is the transportation is come by scooter. The transport is linked to the petroleum industry, petrol, petrol bunks, people in the petrol bunk, one entire system there. Then the food is coming from the hotel. The hotel is a system. It's got the chef, it's got the cook, it's got waiters, it's got, it's got, uh, you know, uh, food delivery. It's got everything, right? It's a stock of food. And behind the hotel, behind the restaurant is is the entire delivery system. Water, food, everything is being delivered. There's one supply chain over there. And behind the supply chain, there is the food production, right? You you make dal, there is somebody making rice, there's somebody making rice grain, there's somebody making all that. And behind that is the farmer who is actually making this, 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 I mean, having, producing rice in the farm and fields which becomes your dosa ultimately. And behind the farm is the rain system, the rainfall, the monsoon system. Because unless it rains, you cannot have. And the fertilizer system and the government system that enables the farmer to sell his rice, the distribution system. Amazing, amazing for just one dosa delivered to your house. Can you see the beauty of systems thinking? Imagine if you are a system sinker in one flash, all these systems come to you. And you know if one small thing is affected, your dosa delivery is affected. So you'll stop getting angry from now on at a dosa being late because you know several things have to interact. So many things have to come together in order for one dosa to be delivered to your house. And that's the beauty of what we are learning. And such a simple topic. Don't you think this should be a taught to everyone? I hope you people do it now. I hope you listen to this lecture, take these slides and go and teach it to school children. Tell them how connections happen, right? So we have seen the example of IIT Madras, we have seen an example of a cricket match, we have seen an example of food delivery system. 